Hello there, Alan at Bamboo Sewing Machines. Brother PE Design Software. We're currently on PE Design 11. Um, it's a very good digitizing program. There are others, some people prefer others. Uh, but the thing to remember with all digitizing software is the digitizing part is a skill. And although sometimes people that buy the brother uh, PR embroidery machines from us, or even the single needle, they may be used to using uh, Photoshop or Illustrator or other graphic based programs. Um, P Design isn't quite like that. You're taking a JPEG or bitmap image and you're converting that into stitch information and the stitch information part is the key. You're not just taking an image and saying file, save as, and then saving in the format for your machine. Uh, the brother format is .pes and on some of them you can use the .dst format too. Um, you're creating the image from the ground up, so to speak. You are taking the filled areas and applying a fill stitch to each one of those areas. Um, you're setting stitch length, uh, stitch width, stitch angle, and then you will add a, uh, uh, usually anyway, a stitch outline to the design. Uh, it sounds pretty straightforward and simple. And once you've got the hang of it, it can be. But it takes practice and it takes skill. And I remember when the first P Design software came out, which was probably probably sometime in the 80s, 1980s. Um, it's advanced an awful lot since then. And over all those years, I've seen people who have used it, given up, failed, and try to look for something elsewhere. I've also seen people who um, turned into masters of digitizing and have produced fantastic uh, levels of embroidery using nothing more than P design. So it can produce fabulous work, but the key to P E design is practice, patience, skill. Don't buy the software on a Monday and expect to be producing fantastic results by the Tuesday. Uh, and it is a bit of a game of ping pong to begin with. Once you're using the software and you produce the design, you will then save it onto a memory stick or send it via a USB cable or whatever medium you're going to use to transfer it from computer to machine. And you can't tell the quality of the work you've produced until you actually sew it out. So to begin with, you may well be going backwards and forwards from computer to machine, back to computer to improve, enhance, correct designs, and then back to the machine to sew it out to see what it looks like. Um, with the uh, commercial people, uh, commercial embroidery uh, customers we have, it's a mix. Quite a few of those use that software. Uh, quite a few of them use other brands and quite a few of them use digitizing agencies such as David Sharp Embroidery. Uh, they can do the work for you in a fraction of the time. However, P Design is what we're talking about. The main key to remember is it works only on Windows. Um, it won't work on a Mac not straight out of the box. Uh, I've seen customers who've tried to use um, P Design using say soft windows. Uh, the results are kind of hit and miss. And if you are a Mac owner and you want to buy P E Design, it's usually best in the long run if you use a Windows computer or laptop. Um, and trying to get it to run on the Mac is complicated. And as I mentioned earlier, 
you'll only get about 50-60% of the program running properly anyway. So it's a cheap uh, Windows laptop um, to run the software. The memory issues, the power issues on uh, today's Windows laptops aren't really relevant. Uh, years ago, you know, it used to be the case that you had to buy a certain uh, level of RAM and certain level of memory to run. These days, you don't need to worry. Even the most basic of Windows computers will easily run a PE design. So if you've got any questions about the software, using it in tandem with your embroidery machine, anything at all to do with digitizing, give me a call. I'm always here to help. Oh, that's been of help. Cheers.